what is going on guys it's King Touch Pro and welcome back to another video in today's video I'm gonna be showing you guys how to install some custom patterns onto Photoshop so this is a very simple and easy tutorial so you shouldn't be confused whatsoever and if you're wondering yes I'm using the webcam on this footage and that is because why not uh, I'm just trying out some new things and if you guys don't like the webcam then please tell me in the comment section below and if you guys don't like it I'll just take it off but I'm just trying to, you know, change up my content just a little bit, but not too much. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started with the tutorial. So I went over to, uh, you know, over to Google Chrome and I typed in subtlepatterns.com. I'll post the link for that in the description for you lazies. But uh, yeah, go over to subtlepatterns.com and this is where I download all of my patterns. Now, I'm not sponsored by them in any way, but go over to subtlepatterns.com and there is 401 patterns, which is a lot. Now you could, you know, of course, switch it to list or thumbnails. Oops, what am I doing? <laughs> or thumbnails, and that gives you a much better presentation. Oh, I, this is this is the way I like it. So, click download, okay, and it will download it. It's going to be in a zip file, so just unzip it and open up the file here or the folder. And you're going to be presented with two files. There's one that's enlarged, and there's a smaller one. Um, I like to use the smaller one just because it's just your standard one. So I'm going to go ahead and drag that onto Photoshop here. And you can see that there's pretty much nothing on here. But if you zoom in, there's actually like a little square with an X on it. So that's the pattern itself. So we're going to go over to the top, go to Edit and Define Pattern. Now if you're working on a PC, it's going to be a little bit different. So it should be on the on it should be still on the on the top and then go to Edit and then Define Pattern or whatever it is. I don't really work with um, PC. Uh, computers I used to have one but not anymore so just uh, give your pattern a name I'm gonna just click OK because I don't really want to give it a name anyway <laughs> so open up a document that you're gonna be applying the pattern to I just used my banner as an example so I want to be applying this to the background in this case the pictures here so I'm gonna go ahead and just double click on the layer here and it's gonna bring up the layer style window then go to pattern overlay select that and then where it says blend mode, go ahead and change that to multiply. And we're going to decrease the opacity quite a bit to about 30%. Now this depends on your picture, so it's not set in stone. Now click the pattern, and this is going to be a little square. Click on that. And in the bottom here, now you're not going to have all of these, of course, because I've installed all of these patterns here. So just click the pattern you've installed. And if, you know, select it. Now if we zoom in you will actually see the pattern. Now you really can't see it, but once I turn up the opacity, it's right, oh, where to go? I'm not sure if you guys can really see that or not, but it's there, trust me. It's black, of course, so you won't really be able to see it, but you can see that there's some X's here. Um, yeah, it's on there, it's on there. And to give you some more proof, Maybe because this one is black and you can't really see it on the on the banner here. I'm gonna go ahead and select this one for the flower, and you can see that the pattern actually works. So you gotta decrease the opacity here, or just change it to screen or something like that, um, or overlay. Just depending on the picture, you're gonna have to modify this. Okay, so <laughs> just keep that in mind. I'll show you guys that it does actually work. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom out of that. And here is the pattern. Of course, this looks really ugly. This is just an example. I would not use this on a banner, but uh, you know, you could if you wanted to. And always decrease the opacity, no matter what. Even if it's you know you're using it for a background, you might want to decrease it because you don't want it to be distracting. Now, most patterns, not all of them, um, have like this type of vintage hipster type of feel to it. And there's always a lot of stuff uh, on the pattern, okay? I go for the subtle patterns because I don't like to overdo it with the pattern. And the only thing you're seeing is the pattern itself. That's not me. I like to show the background. Um, but only there is some, some times where I do have to use the, the um, patterns. But uh, in this case, I'm not. But I'm just showing you guys how to install it and how to use the pattern, okay? So when you're done, just click OK and you should have the pattern. Of course, you can't see it because it's a very dark background <laughs> but uh yeah so if you guys like this video please leave a comment below a rating would be much appreciated subscribe if you feel like it if you don't then don't um and if you guys like the webcam idea or if you don't then please again leave a comment below 
and I will catch you guys on my next video. Until then, peace out and take care.